Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Will and I'm a graphic designer and in this tutorial today I'll be showing you how we can you can design this turkey holiday hours handout. What you're going to need as far as assets for this handout is you're going to need to download this image from unsplash.com which I will leave link in the description below and we're also going to be one of downloading these two fonts Liberation Serif and Daisy script, both in which are free for commercial use and can be found on 1001fonts.com. If you don't know how to download fonts, all you're going to do is want to download the file, go into your downloads file, and then from there you will open up your serif font. And then from here you will open up each individual font uh, style and you'll click and then hit install and that will automatically install it into your Adobe Illustrator. As far as this, go ahead and hit download for free and then the same will happen. It'll go to your download file. And from here, you will go ahead and click on the image, which is the Birmingham image. But we don't need that quite yet. So let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. Also, if you would like to follow along, I have written a blog that goes into detail and shows you exactly step by step how this should be done. So if that is something that you, is that is a way that you enjoy learning, then feel free to do that way instead. So we're going to go to new, file, new, let's create a new document. And let's go ahead and name this document something like Turkey Handout. Let's go ahead and make sure that our width is 8.5 and our height is 11. That's a standard piece of paper, otherwise known as the letter. And for this color mode, you're going to want CMYK with a high resolution of 300 po uh, points per inch. This is pretty standard for all print. If we were going to be doing anything for the web, you would want RGB. But since we're doing print, let's go ahead and create this document, which should automatically load. And then first things first, you always save your document and the default settings are just fine. Before we get started, let's go ahead and go into our view and make sure that our rulers are showing. You can also hit control R and then as well as our smart guides are on, which is control U. If it's checkmarked, they're on. But then let's go to guides and let's make sure they are on. If it says hide guides, then they are on. Finally, make sure your preview is on GPU. If it says preview on CPU, then your GPU is on. If it says preview, GPU preview, then go ahead and click that and make sure it's activated. What that will allow you to do is zoom in and out with the smooth scrubby, which is much more efficient, in my opinion, than the other way. So, to get started, what we're going to want to do is start with the rulers. So zoom in with your rulers, right click to ensure that they are on inches and then drag them over a quarter inch on all four corners. And if you're wondering how I move the artboard, I hold space bar and then I click and while I'm holding down the click, I can drag wherever I would like we'll drag from the top now to a quarter inch and then we'll use the zoom to go down and then we will add it right here as well now this is only something that you would really want to do if you were worried about getting something outside of these lines for this current situation these aren't these don't really matter but it's important to know that some printers will print all this off and it could cut off a letter or cut something off that you don't want to cut off. So now we will rename this by double clicking in the layers panel and we will name it guides and we'll lock it down and then we'll come down here and create a new layer and we will name this one text. You can also go to view, guides, hide guides if you want to do that that way. 
So now we'll come to the first thing that we need that we've downloaded, and that's going to be the PNG image, the Birmingham Museums. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on it, right click, and open with Adobe Illustrator. And what that's going to do is it's going to open it in its own file, which is what we want. Notice if we were to just drag it in to this file, it would work, but it would come in as a linked file. We don't want that. We do not want a linked file. What we want is the actual JPEG. So let's go ahead and click on it. We'll go to Object, Transform, Scale to 30% is perfect. Hit OK. And from here, we can click on it and drag it in and then drag down and let go of the click. And what that should have done is bring it in to your, your turkey handout file. And if you look, it's an image, not a linked file. It's an image, which is what we want. So let's go ahead and click on this, go to our properties panel and open up the align and make sure it's set to align to artboard and then we'll align vertically and align horizontally center. You can also do that by going to Windows Align or if you have the Essentials Classic it should pop up right here. But there we are. And you can do it this way as well. And now that we have that we'll go ahead and hit Control Zero. Didn't do much so let's zoom out a tad and hit M which is going to bring up our rectangle tool and we'll create a rectangle that's eight and a half inches by 11 covering the document. <clears throat> From here we will make sure that our rectangle is selected and on top of our image. Hold down shift and click and then we will make a clipping mask. From here we will hit M once again and create a second rectangle that's seven inches by nine and a half inches. So seven, nine point five. Hit enter. And we will use that same tool, align to artboard, center align horizontal, center align vertically. And what we will do now is click here and click here. Or I guess you didn't need to do that. But let's go ahead and name this background layer and lock it down. And then we will move the text layer on top of the background layer or the background layer below the text layer so that the text layer is unlocked and on top of both of the locked layers. Let's go ahead and click and press T to activate the type tool which can be found right here. And we will drag a text box that goes all the way across the document and it's about an inch tall. If you've installed your fonts correctly, you're going to want to set this to Daisy, Daisy script. Change the font size to 70, just 70, and then align center. And what we will type is Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving holiday hours. Hit Control Shift A and that'll deselect and then right below that we will create a second text box that takes up the rest of the area. Now it's important that we drag our text box all the way out as opposed to just clicking because when you click it won't allow you to edit the text as freely because it does this and we don't want that. We want to be able to just go in here and click anywhere and type so once you have that, go ahead and put your type tool in here. So you need to make sure that this is activated in order to type in here. And then hit Control A, and that'll, can, and that'll select everything within your type box, as long as you're in the type box, text box. And we'll hit Backspace. And let's change our font to Liberation Serif. Let's change it down to a 30. And and then change the to bold. Eh, maybe not. Just leave it regular. And what we are going to type 
is the are the hours. So what we're going to want to type is Wednesday, November 24th. Hours are from 9 to 1 p.m. Hit enter. Thursday, November 25th. The office is closed because that's Thanksgiving. And Friday, November 26th. Hours, we open late. So 12 to 5 p.m. And it does look a little cramped, so let's go ahead and do a few things. First off, let's see what this looks like in bold. Probably want that bold. And then let's adjust our line height or leading to 48. Yeah, that looks great. What we will do now is go to the end of 5 p.m. and press enter twice and type wishing you a safe and wonderful holiday. And what we will do with this font is we will highlight it, increase it to 40, change the font to italic, and then go down to the paragraph panel and deselect hyphenate. And there we are. It's at an exclamation point. And then we'll press enter five times. And right here, we will go ahead and type in case of emergency, comma, enter. Please call 911, period. And with this font, what we're going to do is just highlight this font down here. And let's go ahead and change the font down to a 22. So hold shift and click twice and then up arrow twice or you can just type in 22. And then we'll go into the character panel and select all caps. And I'm not a huge fan of the italics right there. So let's just make this one bold as well. And then so if we were to change the line height with both highlighted, it'll actually change both of those. We don't want to do that. Let's just change the line height of please call 911 to bring it up. So let's go ahead and do that and bring it to 30. Perfect. So I think this is a little close, so I'm going to hit enter. Never mind. Perfect. So what we will do now is just bring this down a little. We will want to click on this text box and click on this text box. By holding shift, you can select both of them. Go to type and create outlines. And it's important to create outlines when you're shipping, when you're going to be sending your file to somebody else. Because without sending them the outlines, you'll have to send them all the fonts that you use. So in this case, we would have to package it together and send them the liberation font as well as the daisy font. But since we created outlines, we can skip that step and we don't have to do that. Um, so the final thing that we need to download is going to be from vecdz.com, which please note, if you do not have a pro license, you will need to attribute the artist. It is required. It's within the licensing. So please note that that is what you're going to have to do. I have a pro license. I'd highly recommend getting one if you are a graphic designer and don't have the time to draw turkeys. Then, you know, go ahead and just take a turkey. Um, this is free for, or not free, but you can use it for full commercial rights. So you are able to monetize anything you download here as long as you, you know, make it look a little different. So once you do that, we're going to head download it. And once you download it, it'll show up in your download file. You can go ahead and open that. And it's going to come with multiple different files. The JPEG file is the standard JPEG, but this EPS, the encapsulated postscript, this is the file we want. So go ahead and double click that and it should open up a new Illustrator file already. We don't need this JPEG open anymore. So once you're in your EPS, 
the turkey EPS file, what you're going to want to do is use your selection tool or V, click, right click, and ungroup. And when you ungroup it all, it should allow you to select the whole turkey. So if we wanted to change the turkey all the way orange, we could do that, but there's no point to do that. So what we will do is select that, hold shift, select these brown turkeys, and that's all we're going to take. We're going to leave this little guy behind. We're going to hit control C, go back to our hand out, and hit control V. And while these are selected, we're going to do a few things. First thing is we're going to group it together, so hit control G, and that'll group it together. And then we'll go to object once again, scale it down to 30%. Looks good. Hit OK. And now what we will do is go to our align. It's set to align to artboard, which is what we want, and we'll center align it. And from here, we will click on it and start dragging it. And as we start dra dragging it, press shift and that'll keep it on a straight line. So we'll move it down until it gets right in between here. And if you notice, it didn't do anything because this is still one big group. So let's go ahead and right click on the font and ungroup it. And from here, we can highlight this and group it. And then highlight this and group it. And now we will select this group, holding shift, select the turkeys, and still holding shift, select the in case of emergency. And we will still use this align, but we're going to switch to align to selection. And rather than using these, we'll use the distribute properties and we'll distribute vertical center. And it didn't do much, but it moved it directly in the middle of these two groups. So it's evenly distributed. However, I do think I want this to be a little down. So I'm going to click on it, hold shift and hit down once, maybe twice. And then I will do the same thing with this. Hold shift and hit it down once. Click over here and voila, we're done. So now what we're going to want to do is hide the guides. You don't need to, but it is kind of nice to see your finished art piece. We'll save it. And once it's finished saving, we'll go ahead and hit save as a PDF and then it'll be available to print. So now it's done saving. We can go to save as, save as PDF, save. Go to Adobe Acrobat 7. I just think it's the most compatible. And make sure these three options are selected and hit save PDF. And once that has successfully saved, it will convert your AI file to a PDF. And from here, you are able to go to file, print and now you just make sure you have the correct paper settings which is eight and a half by eleven choose your printer all this should be fine and then you'll hit print and there you go that is everything you need to do I hope you learned something feel free to subscribe I'll have plenty of tutorials coming out stay up to date and I'll make sure that every video that I post has a blog associated with it in case that is your preferred learning experience. So thank you very much for watching and take care. Goodbye.